Thanks for downloading our template. We're quickly going to run through how you can import and start using them. So these patch files have been designed for and tested with Sage X3, PU9 through to PU11. As always, we do recommend that you test these reports out in a non-production environment and take a backup before continuing. So, to begin with, we'll extract the files from the email to a location on your machine. Make sure you know where that is so that you can use those files later. We'll then need to log into Sage X3. And once we're in, we'll want to navigate to Development, Utilities, Patches, and Patch Integration. The Patch Integration screen is where we will import the customizations into the required folder. You'll then need to select a destination type of client. Tick the patch integration box and ensure that both the deferred validation and linked synchronization box are unticked. You can then click the OK button and the file upload screen will appear. This is where you'll select file and navigate to the location where you extracted the download files and select the .dat file. Once you've selected that and uploaded it, you'll then click the OK button. And when the integration is complete, you should see a summary screen appear. If there are any errors, then feel free to contact us at info at prosper, that's P-R-O-S-P-R, dot biz. So, now you have installed the templates, you can simply use them as you would any other invoice layout. To do this, we'll navigate to APAR Accounting, Invoicing, and Customer BP Invoices. From there, we can select an invoice. We'll select the Print button, and then select the Record button. In the window that pops up, we'll see that there are actually now four new invoice layouts in the system. And we can select any of those four, either from the Abazusa, Lightflight, Pickpock, or Three Strokes template. We'll go ahead and select the Three Strokes template. Once that's selected, we'll then be rerouted to the parameters entry screen. From there, we can select print, and the document will go off and print. Once that's all done, you can select the download button and then have a look at your new reports. Thanks again for downloading our reports and make sure you do contact us if you have any issues or if you would like any custom reports, you can visit the Prosper Extensions Marketplace and have a look at the reports that exist there. Thanks again.